Good afternoon, everybody. I'm David. I'm Haley. And we're here at Intelligent Concrete Laboratories to uh, give a follow-up talk on something we talked about before. Haley, we were talking about standards, and we were talking about the batch plan and making quality concrete. And as you know, there's a ASTM specification for ready mix plants, mm -hmm. ASTM C984. And we get some questions on that. People ask us about that. They say, hey, you know, the designer called and he wants 4,000 PSI. I can produce 4,000 PSI any day of the week. But 494 says I need to add 1,200 PSI to the strain. Mm. Why in the heck? Why? Why do I have to do that? Yeah. So, and the answer is pretty interesting, okay. actually. Now, you know that when we, we go to the lab and we test cylinders, we get for the, exactly the same mix, came out exactly the same mixer, has exactly the same thing in it, we use exactly the same testing machine, we cap it exactly the same way, use exactly the same person, and do we get exactly the same results? No. no. There's some material variation. Mm -hmm. All materials have material variation, so there's some material variation. So if I were to draw that for you, I'll draw it here real quick. We all know about histograms, right? Mm -hmm. We all know about that. So if I were to make, um, the number of occurrences on this axis, and I put FC prime, the compressive strength, on this axis, and maybe I have um, uh, 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, just as an example. And then if I get the number of occurrences, maybe I'll get one, two, three, maybe up to 10 even, depending on how many we're, we're testing. And it's going to look like this. I'm going to get maybe one bad, bad actor. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get one that has a, a low strength. And most of them, if I'm cheating for 4,000, most of them I'll get 4,000 or very close to it. And I might get a couple really good ones. Some, the uh, histogram for concrete has a tendency to be weighted towards the strong side mm -hmm. as opposed to the weak side. It just has to do with conservatism and sure. good cements and all those kinds of things. So I get some, something like this, just roughly. But the designer said they want 4,000. Now, flip the coin, roll the dice. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be? Where am I going to be? That's right. If I have to guarantee I'm going to get 4,000, that's where C494 comes in. It's going to take this histogram, it looks sort of like that, and in order to guarantee it, we get 4,000. That no matter what mix I send, no matter what mix I put down, no matter, you know, morning, afternoon, whatever, I'm going to shift this curve up. So I'm going to shift it up so that it centers at 5,200. 50, and so by doing that, it moves the histogram over. So the worst, what would have been 3,000 is now going to be 4,200. Okay. So the worst that I can do now is 4,000. 4, so I guarantee hitting the number that the designer wants. And that's for the benefit and safety of humanity, in my oh, opinion. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, we've talked about, you and I talked about this before. I mean, what do civil engineers do? We protect the public safety. That's what we do. So this is just now... There's some subtleties to 494, uh, excuse me, to C94 that um, you don't always have to use the 1200. If you have a uh, continuous improvement program, a quality program, or you have 15 or more cylinders, you can begin to shrink that 1200 mm -hmm. down as you get more and more confidence with, okay. with how you roll out, how good your quality is as you roll out. So you can shrink that down based on equation 94. But I just want to kind of get the general idea today. And we get that question both from ReadyMix people and from the uh, product manufacturers that, you know, if it's 4,000, why isn't it 4,000? Mm -hmm. You know, why isn't that good enough if that's what they said? And this is why to shift the possibility of those low cylinders up so the least possible is at the design strength. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so pretty simple concept. Not uh, confusing to some people, but, sure. but when you think of it in a histogram, uh, you know, way, then... You can conceptualize yeah, it. Yeah, pretty conceptual. Yeah. Pretty much conceptual. So that's all I had really to say on that. It's not a very difficult concept. It's uh, annoying to a lot of people, but sure. 
Safety's safety's key. Yep. Yep. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.